All right, hello folks. I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're here at the Victory Classic Cars Days, and I'm here with Steve. And Steve has a 1931, uh, 1930, excuse me, That's right. Ford Model A town sedan town sedan and it is right here behind us and so steve how did you first acquire the car uh well originally i had i wanted an old car okay and so i actually bought a shea it's a replica of a 29 roaster okay yep. fiber, fiberglass body pinto drivetrain well it didn't really suit what we wanted to do so i was with a club one day and I, my wife was there and i said what, here's all the body styles. What, what do you like? She said, the four door. Well, somebody just happened to be selling one. And there it there was. was so. and, and how many, do you have an idea of how many miles the car has on it? Well, I, I put about 42,000 miles on it. It had 300 and some on the speedometer when I bought it, and now I got 42,000 on the speedometer. Okay, so he's put 42,000 miles on a 1930 Ford. If that isn't somebody using their car for fun and enjoying it, I don't know what is. Awesome. I love it. Okay, let's talk a little bit uh, specific okay. things. Now, when you got the car, okay. did it look just like this or did you do any work to it? Well, the, the body is basically the same. I, the, I did take the fenders off and paint those. I put new running boards and splash aprons on and I put a new interior in it. It just had a, somebody had a vinyl interior and I put a original kit in there style the mohair. Okay, can we open the doors here and we'll get a nice shot of that? Now, while, while we're, we're taking a look at this, there are obviously a, um, a few modifications, <laughs> perhaps, right? Yep. So, in order to drive it 42,000 miles and and have enough modern conveniences with you that you can make it from point A to point B without leading your entire club in more than, what, 11 U-turns in a road trip? Yeah, 19, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll show you the U-turn light later that he got as an award for making too many U-turns during the trip. Yeah. All right, so... Um, you've got a few extra, you do have the original gauges here, right? right. Um, it, it's a replacement kit, but they're all, would be all original looking. Right. Yep. Down here you've added a couple gauges here. Yeah, oil pressure and temperature. Okay. And uh, obviously you've got a GPS yeah. yep. system, which is nice to have. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing That's that a blue, the, the Bluetooth. Bluetooth up here for music, yep. which is nice. And, and My wife calling. got tired of me singing. <laughs> <laughs> well, and now in Minnesota, you can't pick up your phone during your ride. Right? So this allows you to um, listen to music or right. you have a Bluetooth speaker then in here too? Yeah, that's part of this speaker up there. Oh, oh that's the, part of that. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, but, it, and you've got some modern, you've added some 12 volt outlets. Actually, this is six volt positive ground, original. Yeah, I've just it is. Yeah, all this stuff can run off six volts. <laughs> So, I've just, re it's a positive ground, so I had to reverse the polarity on all the stuff. So like, you haven't changed that on the car, the six volt on the car, but yeah. he's added a bunch of 12 volt stuff that yeah. you've just reconfigured. Yeah, but they, it runs on six volts. Sure, I could do that on any given day. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, um, let's, can we open the, this door yeah. right here? And there's a couple of things. Okay, toolbox. Yep. Would it have come with some sort of a box on the rainbow, or is this no. something you just kind of keep there? It's just a nice place to store. Store, yep. Okay, you do have this is the the, the, the uh, this particular version was the top of the line, sort of to speak. Right. And uh, you you will you go ahead and show us, but there were certain ways you could tell, and it's, one of it was the fact that it had the two doors and yeah. sort well, of the suicide the, open. It's got the trim on the bottom of the door frames or the window frames. So that was an ad, and there's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a vase on the other side. I love that. For it, but that was, and then it had window shades in the door handle. There's window shades here. Oh, sure. And, and, uh, and they and pull, door handle, and they pull down. They, oh my goodness. Now, you also have chrome right. door handles. These, right. these are the grab handles to open and close the door. Yeah, they just pull the door shut. Pull the door shut. Yeah. Now, this was your uh, open for this the door? One, you, you tip it up like this. Oh, you don't, really? You don't flip back, you tip it up. And then the, the window will roll down. Yep. I'm assuming that window back there is a solid piece, doesn't move. Right. Okay. Um, and then it would have come with side pockets in right. the door? Yep. And then what was this? This is the door lock. Huh. That you, on the, 
the only key on the door uh, is on the passenger side here. So you lock the doors from the inside, close it, and then you have to use a key to lock it if you want to lock it up. I, I finally had just caught a glimpse of this sunshade. Yeah. Okay, so um, we, we review new cars as well as classic cars, and you have a 1930 that's got a window shade in the rear window. I think you gotta buy a Mercedes or a Lincoln nowadays to get that. That's just awesome. Okay, so you've done, re you've redone the upholstery. Right. I love how everything looks. I mean, this is living room size. Yep. This is would be very comfortable, I would think, actually on a ride. I don't know what the suspension is like, yeah, but no, ride's good. My wife enjoys it. All right. So we know that you you told us you put forty two thousand miles. You put forty two thousand miles on this vehicle. So where have you been? The, uh, one of the longest, uh, well, I started, the longest trip was to Detroit, Michigan. Okay. That was wow. a trip. And went down to St. Louis. I've been to Loveland, Colorado. I've been to North Carolina. And then a bunch of, you know, northern Minnesota, Iowa, a lot of, I call shorter trips, you know, <laughs> four or 500 mile trips versus 2,000 mile trips, 3,000 mile trips. So, yeah. And where are you going in September? In September, my wife and I are going to Nova Scotia. Wow. In this, in this, yeah. And you we'll, got, you gotta love it. I bet you, you couldn't count the number of thumbs ups that you get from people probably passing you on the road, right? Yeah. How fast, how fast do you comfortably drive this on 45, the road? Forty-five, fifty miles an hour. Forty-five, fifty. That's unreal. I mean, nineteen thirty, still running. Um, now let's step up to the engine compartment for just a minute. Um, this is a, a flathead four, but Steve was saying that. Uh, he pulled, if I understand right, you pulled the motor and had somebody uh, put a high compression head in it. Well, I did it. You did it? Yeah, I did. This engine's actually been rebuilt. Okay. It's got inserts in it instead of babbitting. Okay. And then I also put a high compression head on it when I, after I did that. Because I was so, planning on driving the car a lot. Right. And so I wanted to something, start with something that. So now for all of you muscle car fans out there, this project increased this motor's horsepower from 40 all the way to 50 50 horsepower what was the car i drove yesterday 400 and 450 horsepower wow but it goes right we see yep. that 42,000 yep. miles oh yep. my word okay um now i'm assuming i've seen some other model a's where you replace the front fan because they used to break right and fly off so you replaced yours with a, a, yep. a duplicate yep carburetor no gas filter yeah this is just a sediment bowl right where it was dripped down like the they do stay on tractors and okay stuff. yeah yeah I've, I've changed this okay so I, so I have a push button start I don't have the button on the floor anymore okay because I when I put this right typically a model a would have a button on the push button on the floor yeah so you turn the gas on turn the gas on <laughs> turn the ignition on this is the choke there you go yeah. Oh, that's close. Oh, that. Wow. Tell me about this sticker. It says A and then gasoline ration. During World War II, they rationed gasoline. And yep. so that they, depending on what your usage of your vehicle was and how much gas you could buy, it was by the ration ticket. Really? Yeah. So you would actually put a sticker in your window, and that would tell the gas attendant how much gas he could put in your car. Yeah. Wow. I don't know all the details on it. But <laughs> right, but that's the gist of it. Yep. Yep. I, I mean, I, I guess I knew they existed, but I've never seen one. And, and you're, you know, you belong to a, a car club. Right. Twin City Model A Ford Club. Yep. There we go. And our club reproduces the original from the original uh, one of these, so we, did, we can put them on our cars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's step to the back because there is an interesting feature here I'd like Steve to tell us a story about. All right, so there are some interesting stories on the back of Steve's car. And we're going to start with the hanging chicken in a bikini at the bottom. So, Steve, tell us, I understand this is a very prestigious award. Yes, it is. Uh, and, and it's given out by the club. Well, actually, I started it when I did a tour with people following me and I got kind of I'm not gonna say tired but it, it was unfortunate people break down yeah so what I did is I came up with the chicken of shame so if you break down on a trip and you hold the group up 
you get to hang the chicken of shame from your car. So the reason it's on my car is uh, last uh, weekend or two weekends ago, I was somewhere with a couple of guys and my door spring broke on my door and my door it swung open. So I had to pull over and stop the group. So I got the chicken. <laughs> It seems fitting that the man who invented the chicken punishment should have to hang it from his own car. Yep. Now, there is one other one, and that has to do with this light, because this is not an original 1930 uh, Ford brake light. Those are on the back, as you can see. Yep. So, um, tell, tell, tell us, it, well, yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Um, we'll, we'll light it, Steve will turn it on for you in a minute, but tell us first why you have that light. Is this something you went out and bought? No, it was, it was uh, given to me by the club. As uh, I uh, did a tour out to Color Loveland, Colorado, I had 11 cars follow me, and uh, I happened to have they counted 19 U turns on this trip. <laughs> so when we got home, they gave me a a light that, that specifies a U-turn. So now when I do a U-turn, I just have to turn this light on. So everyone knows that you're making a U-turn. U-turn. <laughs> so there's no question. I take it you were leading the pack. I was leading the pack, yep. <laughs> 11 cars making U turns constantly. Ah, you gotta love it. Go ahead. All right, so uh, obviously, Steve, the, the, this car has. Uh, if I were a car, you'd be like my dream owner. <laughs> because I've been kept alive since 1930 and I'm still being used for fun, for people to enjoy. And your wife goes on trips with you. Oh, yeah, she loves it. So, this is, that's just wonderful. Um, now, when you think about the car and all the things that you've done with it, do you have a favorite thing? It can be a memory, it can be, you know, it's when I bought, it's this feeling I get when I walk out and I see it, or when I start it up, or whatever, but is there something favorite about this car for you? Uh, boy, that's almost a tough question, but. You can pick more than one. I can, uh, I enjoy driving it, and I enjoy, stopping and have people talked about the car you know it's my wife says you're always in a parade and I guess <laughs> you are you're yes. always in a parade you know we on some of our trips we stopped at rest stops and stuff and people come up and you know you get conversations going yeah you get to meet people you and may not I, ever get I, to where you're going but yeah you, you might you might get held up for a while but that's okay yes you know life life is about meeting people and interest and everybody's got a story you know Grandpa had one just like that, but it was a Chevrolet. You know, right? you know those type yep. of things. You've probably heard that before. Oh, too. yes. And so, but just, it's meeting people. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, Steve, thank you Almost so much yeah. for no sharing your awesome story and this awesome vehicle uh, with us today. Thank you. Thank you, guys.